Here's one of my latest uh, little DIY projects I did. This is a uh, this is basically a, a DIY uh, gimbal stabilizer, a handheld gimbal stabilizer. Uh, I actually put this together with uh, a lot of uh, repurposed parts that I already had. Um, I had several components uh, that I've used previously for my uh, my quadcopters, uh, such as the gimbal itself and the battery. And uh, basically, I put this together with about uh, 30. Aside from the gimbal the camera and the battery about uh, oh, 35 40 dollars worth of parts uh, as you can see it's uh, mostly it's just painted uh, PVC piping uh, three-quarter inch piping on the sides and an inch and a half here um, if you like the little handles here believe it or not I, I cannot believe I found these uh, just sitting at Home Depot they're called uh, flow traps and they come basically about this size and uh, boy I saw them I thought boy what a perfect grip that is uh, to have there and uh, you can see I have the legs for it here and in fact I did not glue the legs so that I could take them off and easily put them in a case so I've got them there like this now the uh, and I also um, using the Wi-Fi out of the camera uh, I'm using uh, my uh, iPhone here uh, for the uh, viewfinder uh, this is just a, a little selfie stick mount with another repurposed part I had which was the uh, the uh, basically the tripod adapter mount uh, to put it on the, uh, the the board. These are just two pieces of wood here, and I switched to turn on the gimbal. And uh, now, really, the magic of this is uh, the gimbal. Uh, this is a Taro uh, 2D uh, gimbal. This is a two-axis gimbal. So uh, what it does it has two motors on it, as you can see here, and the motors basically are just finely uh, precision uh, servo motors that will move the opposite of which way I am moving to allow for a real stable so you can go pretty fast and you see how the camera isn't even moving here um, so there we go a poor man's uh, stabilized uh, gimbal now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a quick little uh, ticket jogging. Uh, I'm going to do a test uh, with the gimbal off and then with the gimbal on and uh, you can see what the results are. On the left is the gimbal with no power versus the gimbal with the power and the stabilization. Uh, and I walked the exact same path at the same rate of speed, uh, making a couple turns here and there to kind of put it through its paces, going up some steps. And uh, there you can see uh, the much difference in uh, stabilization. Now, it's not perfect, of course, because there's only two axes, uh, roll and tilt, that I am uh, compensating for. I'm not compensating for bobbing up and down or shimmying left and right. So it's not perfect, but uh, as you can see, it's certainly pretty usable and uh, not bad for a little DIY project. 